What's up guys, this is Six Guns with World of War Gaming .net. Um, I'm here to show everybody how to use this um, model editing program that's on ImperianOnline.com, the forums under the hangar bay. If you just search for Imperian Model Import Tool, um, you can get the download link from there. Yeah. Uh, one thing we're going to have to have on hand is uh, replace blocks commands if you don't know where they are this website here will show you everything you need to know so ilion.zendesk.com slash hc slash a bunch of numbers I don't want to read uh, if you can see it on the video that's great I'll leave it up for a second alright on to our project so I already have my blueprint created but I will go through the steps on what I did to do this. Um, I put in a blueprint size of 300. Um, I left longest dimension on. You can do specified dimension if you want to make things wider, uh, narrower, uh, etc. So our blueprint class is going to be a CV. Um, now, this model editing program converts everything to um, an SV slash HV block type, which is a whole full in the command list for replace blocks. So that is a regular steel block for SVs and HVs. Um, if you want to do reflection um, for mirroring these objects, um, you can play around with that, but for this tutorial, we'll just show how to make this program possibly work for you. Um, morphological smoothing is going to be like an erosion filler uh, for 90 degree uh, corners. Um, it'll attempt to round things off uh, and it gives a really really cool and um, almost unique look. Um, the dilation and erosion um, are preset to 5. You can lower this, raise this, um, now when I'm usually when I do these uh, I usually do a bunch of them in batches so that I can uh, test maybe 10 or 20 of them out at a time until I get the, the look that I'm going for um, in order to do that when you get your uh, after the blueprints created you'll just copy the blueprint folder rename it to whatever project name you're calling it and set it aside so hollowing radius um, I actually went with two. I wanted to. Uh, I figured if I'm gonna, the bigger I make the ship, I'm obviously gonna want to make uh, the walls a little bit bigger. Uh, for smoothing blocks, uh, I I like to use this option. Uh, you don't have to um, if you want to put corner blocks in on your own, but this program will attempt to fill in whatever it can with corner blocks. And again. Um, even though it's irregular and sometimes not exactly symmetrical it's it's a really unique look um, so take that in mind for for the hollowing radius I'll mention that um, the smaller number you go um, the thinner the wall is going to be um, for a smaller CV um, or SV or HV you'll want to keep that at 1. If it's anywhere from a size class 10 and below, keep it at a 1 because uh, 2 and 3 is too thick and it will fill up the ship. So, haven't played with it too much for CVs, but... So, these were the options I used and it took about 3 to 5 minutes to craft. I already crafted it. Um, I copied it into my blueprints folder if you don't know where that is, go to your where your game install folder is. Uh, Steam Maps, Common, Imperial Galactic Survival, Saves, Blueprints, your Steam ID should be a folder name. Open that, copy the blueprint into there, and start up your game. Spawn your ship in. when you first spawn this in, it, as I said before, it's going to have uh, SV and HV blocks, so you need to have those commands ready. Um, again, yeah. 
always make sure to go for thin blocks also uh, which is a separate command than the full command um, so whole full whole combat full large uh, thin blocks would be whole thin whole combat thin large uh, you could change it to concrete um, you could change it to steel you could change it to wood um, anything that's allowed I guess um, on a CV or just about um, now when I was talking about erosion earlier uh, this is what the corner blocks and the erosion will try to do so as you can see it's not perfect it is minecrafty ish but It's not always the case. And I think it looks pretty pretty flippin' awesome. On the inside, uh, you can see this a lot more. This is from the morphological uh, setting. It's uh, pretty cool. It's almost like a rib cage effect. <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Alright, um, I already saved this blueprint um, after I converted the block type. Uh, so this is a legal blueprint to use if you're going to spawn it in and modify it. Uh, I named it Destiny underscore Remake, uh, updated it, and put it on the workshop. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to message me.